ஃபிரெண்ட்ஸ் வெல்கம் டு சயின்ஸ் லேர்னிங் கேட்வே ஐ ஹோப் யூ ஆல் ஆர் டூயிங் குட் அண்ட் யூ ஆல் ஆர் கோயிங் த்ரூ த சூப்பர் ரிவிஷன் ஃபார் யோர் போர்ட் எக்ஸாம்ஸ் அண்ட் ஐ நோ தேட் ஆஃப்டர் ஃபியூ டேஸ் த எக்ஸாம் வில் ஸ்டார்ட் அண்ட் த சயின்ஸ் பேப்பர் ஃபார் கர்நாடகா ஸ்டேட் போர்ட் ஸ்டூடெண்ட் இஸ் ஆன் லெவன்த் ஆப்ரல் ஸோ லெட்ஸ் டூ அ குவிக் ரிவிஷன் ஃப்ரம் சாப்டர் நம்பர் ஃபோர் கார்பன் எட்ஸ் கம்பவுண்ட் சம் ஆஃப் ஃபியூ ஆஃப் த இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் கொஷன்ஸ் ஃப்ரம் திஸ் சாப்டர் ஐ ஹவ் ஐ வில் டிஸ்கஸ் இன் திஸ் வீடியோ ஸோ லெட்ஸ் டூ அ குவிக் ரிவிஷன் விதவுட் வேஸ்டிங் அவர் டைம் ஸோ லெட்ஸ் டிஸ்கஸ் த கொஷன்ஸ் குவிக்லி ஃப்ரம் சாப்டர் நம்பர் ஃபோர் கார்பன் அண்ட் இட்ஸ் கம்பவுண்ட் த ஃபர்ஸ்ட் கொஷன் விச் வி ஹாவ் ஓவர் தேர் இஸ் த எலிமெண்ட் கார்பன் த எலிமெண்ட் கார்பன் forms a very large number of compounds give reason for this fact that you know that there are so many compounds of carbon like carbon tetrachloride diamond is there graphite is there carbon dioxide lots of compounds are there so why carbon forms a large number of compounds we have to give the reason for that so there so carbon forms large number of compounds because of two reasons two factors are there because of which the carbon forms two large number of compound the first one is tetravalency so what is the meaning of tetravalency you all know that the atomic number number of carbon is 6 if we write the electronic configuration it will be 2 comma 4 it has 4 electron in the outer motion or the valence cell so its valency is also 4 so that's why carbon is having tetravalency tetra means 4 so carbon's valency is 4 that's why it can form a large number of compounds next is catenation so what is the meaning of catenation you know that carbon can form a can link with itself or with other atom to form a long chain the formation the property of a carbon to form a long chain is called catenation carbon can form large carbon can form long chain with itself or with other atoms like for example with oxygen with nitrogen also it can link to form a long chain so that property is catenation so if in exam if this question will be asked you will you only have to remember the two points the first one is tetravalency carbon has four valence electrons so its valency is also four and the next point is catenation catenation means self linking property of carbon next question is covalent compounds generally do not conduct electricity by this question is also important because many times in the board exam this question has been asked so covalent compounds cannot do not conduct electricity because how carbon co- covalent compounds are formed obviously the carbon com- covalent compounds are formed by the tra- by the sharing of electrons and since covalent compounds are formed by the sharing of electron no charged particles are formed you know that in covalent compounds whenever covalent compounds or covalent bonds are formed they are formed by the sharing of electrons so if sharing of electrons will take place no charged particles will be formed means plus positively and negatively charged particles will not be formed so covalent compounds will not conduct electricity next is what is catenation so already we have discussed this it is a property of carbon in which it forms a covalent bond with other carbon atoms to form long chain means like this the carbon will form a covalent bond with other carbon atoms to form a long chain it can form a long chain also it can form a branch chain also or it can form a ring like structure also like for example in benzene we have seen that right so catenation is a property of carbon by which it will form covalent bond with other carbon atoms and it will form a long chain branch chain or a close ring compound next state to characteristic feature of carbon which when put together give rise to a large number of carbon compound question number 1 and question number 4 four is similar but it can be asked in any of the form so you have to write the two points that is catenation and tetravalency next question is what do you mean by tetravalency of carbon tetravalency means four valence electrons so carbon has four valence electrons means in the outer motion carbon has four electrons so it can form how many bonds if it is having four electrons it can form only four bonds with other elements like for example it can form bond with nitrogen oxygen hydrogen etc so that is called tetravalency next define structural isomer isomerism isomerism so what is structural isomerism in structural isomerism the compounds will have the same molecular formula they will have same molecular formula remember that structural uh, structural isomerism as that phenomena in which the compounds will have same molecular formula but their structures will be different from the name you can understand structural means their structures will be different and we have to write two and we have to also write two isomers of butane so what is the molecular formula of butane butane means six four carbon atoms so c4 h10 c4 
C4H10. This is the molecular formula of butane. So we can write C4H10 in two different ways. First of all, a normal structure of butane that is a long structure, and next one a branch structure. You can, if you will count the number of carbon atoms and hydrogen, it will be same in both the structures. So these are the two structural isomers for butane. Now let's discuss question number seven. Covalent compounds have low melting and boiling point. So if you have read the properties of covalent compound, you have read that covalent compounds have low melting and boiling point, whereas ionic compounds have high melting and boiling point. So why covalent compounds have low melting and boiling point? Because the force of attraction between the molecules of covalent compound are very weak. Right. See, this is the this is the covalent bond, and it is formed by sharing of electron. So, force of attraction between the covalent compounds are very weak. This force of this bond is very weak. That's why it it can be easily broke, broken down. If this is if this is a weak bond, we can easily break it down. So that's why covalent compounds have low melting and boiling point. Next question: What is hydrogenation? Hydrogenation and what is its industrial application? This question is also very important for your exam point of view. So what is hydrogenation? Hydrogenation means addition of hydrogen. The process of adding unsaturated, the process of adding unsaturated hydrocarbons and hydrogen in the presence of a catalyst such as palladium or nickel to give saturated hydrocarbons is called hydrogenation. Unsaturated hydrocarbon. First of all, you should know the meaning of that. Unsaturated hydrocarbon means the compounds containing compounds containing double bond or triple bond. Those are called unsaturated hydrocarbons. So, what is done in that? In unsaturated hydrocarbons, hydrogen is added in the presence of a catalyst like nickel and palladium. Nickel, palladium, like that. Those catalysts are used in this type of reaction, and this uh, unsaturated hydrocarbon is changed into a saturated hydrocarbon. It is changed into a saturated hydrocarbon. Hydrogen will be added over there. So it will change into a saturated hydrocarbon. That process is called hydrogenation. So what is hydrogenation? Adding of hydrogen to unsaturated compounds in the presence of catalysts such as palladium or nickel to give saturated hydrocarbon is called hydrogenation. And what is its industrial application? It is commercially used for converting vegetable oils to vanaspati ghee in the presence of a catalyst like nickel, etc. Okay, generally it is used in the preparation of converting vegetable converting vegetable oils to vanaspati ghee, and this is a reaction which is involved over there. You can see double bond is there, which will be broken down, which will be broken down, and hydrogen will be added in both the carbons. Right. So this is an this is the example of a hydrogenation reaction. Next is write the differences between saturated and unsaturated hydrocarbons. So this is also one of the most important question from this chapter. For this, you will make two columns: one for saturated and one for unsaturated hydrocarbons. So what are saturated hydrocarbons? As you all know, that saturated hydrocarbons are those compounds. Are those compounds? Which contain single bond, and unsaturated compounds are those compounds which contain double or triple bond. Okay, they contain double or triple bond. Saturated hydrocarbons they are less reactive, but since they contain double and triple bond, they are more reactive. Examples: alkane. And this side we have the example as alkenes and alkynes. So that's all. These are the some of the important questions which can be asked from the chapter carbon and its compound. I hope. this uh, these questions are clear to you all and uh, next i will be coming up with the next uh, tutorial for you all that will also be a revision video for you all because since we have a very short time so in that short time we can discuss few of the important questions which are asked in the previous year in the model papers also and in the straight level exam also so chances are there that those questions will be repeated for you all so we we can discuss those questions so that it will give you a idea how to write the answers in the exam to the point answer you will write you will get full marks from that and apart from that i will i am requesting you all that if you have doubts or you want me to do any of the um, chapters in short any questions any particular topic is there then please comment in the comment box definitely i will come up with the new video for you all So thank you for watching my channel Science Learning Gateway and I want to say all the best to all the students for class 10th board exam please write the exam properly learn every concept remember the concepts during the exam 
practice the numericals properly practice the diagrams definitely you all will score very good exam thank you for watching